Bachelorette Rachel Lindsay told runner-up to stay away after her chaotic pick. Bachelorette Rachel Lindsay allegedly told the runner-up to stay away and not contact her after she made her final pick in the finale, a source told Life and Style. As the show comes to a close Monday night and the world finally learns who Rachel gets engaged to, it's being reported that those last moments for the 32-year-old Dallas attorney were painful. In fact, it's being claimed that her friends aren't so sure that she made the right choice in the end. Did Rachel make a mistake? The source shared that the runner-up has all the qualities Rachel Lindsay is looking for and her friends believe she would have been happier with him. News of this comes just one day before Hash the Bachelorette finale airs. Apparently, Lindsay's friends think that she's so blinded by the ring, that she's not able to see what's really going on. The insider went on to say that Rachel was confused and had no idea who she should pick in the end as the final day rose taping got underway. There wasn't enough thought that went into who she should marry. Rachel was looking at her two finalists from the perspective of who looked good on paper and who had the best chemistry with her. In the end, she chose the one she thought was safest, but not necessarily the right one for her. The source revealed that Rachel Lindy's decision was excruciatingly difficult to come to. The winner went on the show with hopes of becoming the next Bachelor, which was a red flag that he possibly went on The Bachelorette for all the wrong reasons. Additionally, Rachel told the runner-up not to contact her because it would be unfair. The source didn't elaborate on if Rachel thought it would be unfair to the winner or if she thought it would just be too much to hear from him when he was the one she may have secretly wanted to be with. Lindsay almost quit show. Other reports have spilled that the finale episode was so hard for Rachel that she almost quit, video, at one point when it came down to the final three, Eric Bigger, Peter Krause, and Brian Abislow. As the weeks 